super party. I have done a three weeks parasite skins in other words deworming and during this time I have done three times a parasites party. I recorded everything and I created four videos about this whole parasites cleanse process. First video is a scheme how exactly I've done the parasites cleanse. The second video is about herbs I used during these three weeks. Third video is about the enema, how to do it and what kind of herbs I used for this enema and the fourth video this one is about parasites party Woo so guys if you don't know what is parasites cleans please pause this video and go watch the other ones in other way we are going to have a party and this party won't end good for my guests parasites it reminds me a uh, games of thrones where half of the Stark family was killed by the host of the wedding party. This is how the parasites will end in this party. We will have a feast here, we will have alcohol, we will have a castor oil and everything you will learn in the video. So let's start with the feast, like every party has a big feast we are having it as well at 6 p.m. Big feast for parasites, but not really for us. It is a healthy sweet dinner. It includes parasite goodies. It was a rice with banana, pear, raisins, dates, soya milk and date syrup. On this day, after this delicious dinner, I went sleep early around 9 p.m. to get some rest and also for the parasites. They get shy when I'm awake, so it could scare them off and they wouldn't try a sweet rice. Then the party started at 2 a.m. and this is how it went. It's 2 a.m. and we needed to wake up. I am a little bit sleepy, so sorry for being so slow in talking. Here we have a green tea and a green tea has to be warm. Now we are putting three spoons of sugar and we have already measured for two portions because I'm doing this uh, cleaning with my mom. It's 30 milliliters of alcohol, of cognac. Strong alcohol. Yes. And now we are adding alcohol to the tea. This kind of mixture we need to drink. Cheers. I'm, I'm very curious how it tastes. It's not bad. It's very alcohol. <laughs> I have never drink alcohol to heal myself. It needs to be warm because from the cold all these insects go away, so they hide inside our intestine. If it's warm, they will go there. My mom is uh, hardcore. <laughs> she already drank it and I really cannot drink it quickly. It's so difficult. But I believe for some of you it will be easy. I'm still struggling to drink it. Just like this. Mm. Okay, almost finished, almost finished. Cheers. Guys, it's maybe like five, <clears throat> five minutes after drinking this substance and I am drunk. The party starts. Meanwhile, warm up the castor oil by pouring the boiled water into a small pot where the castor oil is placed. After drinking it, castor oil will paralyze the drunk worms. And in few hours in the morning when we will go to the toilet, all the parasites have no choice but be eliminated from the organism. Castor oil is the only oil that have this kind of properties. This is why especially this oil is very good for deworming. After 20 minutes we are drinking a castor oil, Rezzini oil in Latin. Uh, I have never drink the oil like this this. I'm a bit stressed but I'm a bit drunk so it's fine. I think we can drink it. Yes? Oh my goodness! I don't know even how to describe it. It's just like, it's not untasty but it's like the horrible structure of it. If you do this, tell me, write in the comments below. I want to know who is so strong and crazy person to do this kind of thing. I am so happy to do it with my mom and she already done it before. Super. Finish! Finish! Mm. <laughs> it's 
so much support. You cannot drink anything after drinking this oil. <laughs> yes, it is recommended not to drink anything after castor oil. However, if you feel dizzy, you can suck a lemon or prepare a ginger drink. Take a half or one glass of warm water, add lime juice and one third of a spoon of dry minced ginger and drink warm. How I feel? So right now it's maybe 15 minutes after I drank the oil and I was really worried to be feeling dizzy and feeling nauseous but I, I really think okay the taste in my mouth it's not actually that bad so right now we are going to sleep and see you in the next moment of cleaning Good morning! So guys now it's 10 around 10 a.m and I wanted to share with you how it went the night but before that I want to highlight that this kind of cleaning can be different for everybody so you can react totally differently than me for example my sister made it before like I don't know one year ago and she was after taking this alcohol and castor oil she was vomiting whole night so you have to be conscious how your body reacts and if you're struggling so much then maybe better to just cut it and not continue. But if you are going through it kind of okay like me and my mom right now then just keep going and good luck. So how it looked with us, firstly I went to sleep. I felt fine, there was one moment that I felt really dizzy but I just lay down on my back and I think that position just triggered it so I put myself into the side and I was fine. Maybe after two hours I went to the toilet and I made a defecation, normal one. Maybe after one hour I went again to the toilet again normal and then till 8 a.m. around I was sleeping. When I woke up I started to feel a little bit dizzy. I started to feel the movement of the water in my abdomen. My abdomen was a, a bit bloated with the water and I went to the toilet and I had super big water diarrhea. And right now I want to again highlight that this is what we want so if you have it be happy if till 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. you didn't have defecation you didn't have water diarrhea then you need to take a sodium bicarbonate how we do it prepare half glass of boiled water add one flat tablespoon of sodium bicarbonate wait till it cools down drink comfortably warm drink half liter of warm water after if you still didn't have water diarrhea, you need to do enema. All the process how to do it is in the different video. The link is in the description below. Check it out. In the morning, still even if you have the water diarrhea, drink a 3% of Lugol solution. To a half glass of warm water, add 5 drops of it. Lugol solution is a source of iodine. You can buy it in the pharmacy. It assists the intensive cleaning of the organism. It is also good to drinking during the whole process of deworming. I wasn't that strict about that during the week, but two days after Parasite's party, I drank it regularly. During the weekdays, my mom usually adds it to the morning herb tea. Also, after Parasite's party, you should eat something that binds toxins and helps to avoid intoxication. I was drinking carob. I was preparing it as follows. Take flat tablespoon of carob and add to boiling water. Cook 5 minutes on a small fire. Drink 3 times a day between the meals. Other similar products that bind toxins are ornithin and enterogel. The day after Parasite's party is the most important to focus on rebuilding bacterial flora of your intestine. Remember to eat the silage vegetables and drink a juice from it. Also you can drink sour goat milk and take probiotics. The last but not the least, after diarrhea the body is dehydrated. This is why never forget to drink plenty of fluids. This is the second night after making a party for parasites. And it's 5.20 right now. Drinking the liquids were much easier than before, but I just woke up just, just right now with so much stomach pain. I thought I would just die there. I went to the toilet and I felt like I 
it cannot go from down, it cannot go from up. But that was just like maybe four minutes, five minutes. And when everything went down, yeah, I felt better. Now it's after that. I'm still waiting for more to come because this was just the beginning, but that was much harder than before and much more uncomfortable and I felt super nauseous, super dizzy. But I think as well, right now we have Eastern in Poland and with my mom we decided to eat a bit of sweets, especially that this was the time to make a party for this parasite, so we were supposed to eat sweets, but that was not that healthy. It was more cakes, chocolate, candies, cookies and all this kind of stuff. And I don't think that made it easier for us right now to to get this cleaning done. So guys, I recommend you if you do this cleaning, be careful with yourself always. Be with the other person. If you feel really bad, remember that it will pass away. It's just a moment that your body is working out something very strongly. And I know right now I'm not encouraging any of you to... I will probably make this whole cleaning process by saying in this way but I am still making it and in one week I will make it again Good morning! It's right now, what time is it? It's almost 12 and I... I just slept a little bit but before half an hour ago I went again to the toilet and I had water diarrhea. I slept very well actually <laughs> after all this horrible experience I can say very difficult. I, I fall asleep right now I feel still very tired a bit of weak a bit of nauseous still yeah I would like to actually sleep again. Right now I will drink my mom brought me a bit of um, juice with the lemon. Today in the morning we decided with my mom to do enema, additional help to clean all the intestine, abdomen, rewash it from inside. If you haven't have defecation again, please drink soda, sodium bicarbonate. If you had this water diarrhea, then we are doing the enema and if you if you had to drink a sodium bicarbonate after that you have a water diarrhea and after that uh, we are doing the enema as well and the whole deworming process finished with parasites party at the end of the third week and this parasites party was so comfortable i didn't feel any pain any dizziness nauseousness nothing it was perfect and of course, this time I already learned from the second week, I was keeping a proper diet. On Saturday evening, I ate sweets which were healthy. Yeah, so remember to do that in the same way. And you won't have any problems and any pain as I had in the second week. So thank you so much for watching this video. And please let me know if you have done other kind of deworming or you've done this way of the warming as I showed in this video. Share your experience in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'm open to answer them if I can. And see you in the next video. to kill all the parasites parasites sorry my my first language is not english so i cannot say it properly but parasites i hope you understand me to kill them all in the in our body so yeah and after that the oil so total destruction <laughs>